conference. So I'll just make a very short statement, and if you have questions, I'll take some. I do have a very, very long, so perhaps if we could finish in about 10 to 15 minutes, I'd be very appreciative. The reason why I've come here is uh, mainly to go and look at the refugee camps and to see how our people are doing there and what can be done to make their situation better as well as to make things easier for the authorities. Because after all, our, our refugees are here as visitors and we want to make things as uh, easy for the host country as possible. This is something that will have to be managed on both sides. The Thai authorities have been very cooperative and very kind and they have made it possible for me to meet uh, some of the refugees and to have discussions with those who are taking care of their needs. So uh, I'm very satisfied with this visit in the sense that I've been able to learn a lot of things. But of course I know that there are many things that still have to be done for the refugees. and basically to do something about the situation that has resulted in refugees coming over from Burma. So that's all I have to say for the moment, and if you would like to ask any questions. You think the cancellation of the President takes a visit to Thailand is a result of your presence here? I mean, this is two of you that he cancelled the visit twice. I think this is a question that you have to ask him. He certainly didn't tell me why he was not coming. I came mainly to attend the World Forum, uh, the uh, World Economic Forum, but as uh, the issues of migrant workers and refugees are very serious ones, I thought that I would, I would take the opportunity to address those. And it has been very satisfactory from that point of view that I have been able to do whatever was possible within a very short time that I've spent here. From your visit to Samosaka and Malacca, what are the things, what are the impressions that you have? In other words, what are the things that are impressions of Samosaka? Well, I think the, the, the thing that must have that impressed me, which I'm sure has impressed all of you, is that uh, the situation in Burma must be made to change in such a way that there will be neither migrant workers nor refugees. We have to provide peace and we have to provide prosperity for our own people. I, can't, I don't think we can talk about outcomes now, I've just had the discussions. It depends on what we're able to do about the issues that we're discussing. And that, of course, will take some time before we find out. Your objective about the I'm sorry? Your objective is to create jobs and, and, and build up the workers' homes and refugee homes. Have you discussed with um, other parties in Parliament, candidatory? Are they going to share your objectives? Well, I've just, I've just been here, so I, I, when, when, when would I have made, made these discussions that you're talking about? That would need time. I'll have to get back to Berlin in the first place. Do you have a chance to talk to the refugees inside the camp? Sorry? Do you have a chance to talk to the refugees inside the camp? And what did they say? I didn't have a chance to talk to too many of them, because they were uh, quite a great number. The main message that I got was that they did not want to be forgotten. And certainly I would like them to understand that we are not going to forget them and that we will do everything possible to make their situation better. So what has to happen for refugees to go home safely regarding the plane rights? I think what has to happen in Burma is something that we all know what has to happen. We have to have peace in Burma and we have to have an economic situation where, our, where there will be sufficient employment for our people. Do you, do you, do you, you talk about uh, how important education in the World Economic Forum and you know that in Mexico there are so many Burmese students coming here and they are well educated. And do you have any statement for them to come back and yeah, build Burma? It's always up to, to the individual to decide whether or not they're going to come back to their countries. But what I would like to urge our young people to do is to look to the general prosperity of the country. If there's something to contribute, then they should do their best to contribute it. I'm very old-fashioned in the sense that I believe in a sense of duty, and I would like our young people to foster a sense of duty. Will you report back to the government in Burma? 
I do not have a report back to anybody as such because uh, these meetings that took place took place out of my own initiative. But certainly I will be discussing what I have seen here with very many people, not necessarily just those in government, but uh, my own political party and with the members of our local media. I do not see how our efforts could, should overlap because I was just studying conditions in the refugee camps and of course peace talks have to be conducted because peace or rather lack of it is the main reason why they are refugees. Uh, I have spoken to the people who are looking after the welfare of the refugees in the camps and uh, they have uh, explained to me that good donors are going to be cutting funds. So what I have suggested is that they should communicate with me and let me know which aspects of camp life are going to be hurt by the uh, curtailing of funds. And I think we have to confer with the donor countries and the donor organizations and see what can be done to remedy the situation. I do not think it makes sense to cut funds without studying how the cutting of funds will affect the lives of the refugees. I don't think you really need to return refugees back because if conditions were right, refugees would go back to their own free will. Well, we were not. I was not able to have meetings with minority leaders, with ethnic nationality leaders, but I've already met some of them in Rangoon. And I hope that uh, there will be more opportunities for me to meet them when they come to Burma for peace talks. Uh, you met the um, Burmese migrant workers and refugees here in Thailand. Do you have any plan in the future to meet uh, overseas, uh, Burmese overseas elsewhere? Uh, refugees have settled in a third country. It depends on whether I'm, I am able to travel to that third country or not. And of course, it depends on whether the refugees are all collected in one place or scattered all over the country. I'm sorry, could you repeat your question? I don't really know why the trip was cancelled. It could be for very many reasons. And I think uh, it would be best for you to put the question to his office rather than to me. Sorry, could you repeat that, please? I think I mentioned that earlier, though their main concern was that they should not be forgotten, that their plight should not be ignored. Uh, the last question by the last refugee. Yeah, I, I think you've already asked, so please could I, uh, the I last two questions. Uh, wait, wait a minute, I think uh, just, uh, just, uh, 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 Well, to the Thai people, first of all, I would like to thank them personally for the great warmth and hospitality with which they have welcomed me to this country. And I would also like to thank the members of the Thai administration who have, uh, worked, who have done everything possible to make this trip a very pleasant and a very smooth one. ဒီခရာနာမိုင်းတွေကိုပါလေကြောင့်ပြောခဲ့ဆိုတော့ဒီဖြစ်ပြောင်းလို့ပါတွေနဲ့ပဲဖြစ်စေတော့လူခဲ
Now, if you please excuse, excuse me, I think that's the end of the press conference. And, uh, we love you. Thank, thank you. Bye, Nick. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Okay. Okay, thank you. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, okay.